Welcome everyone to an arena video. This is Andrea Mengucci. This video is sponsored to you by ChannelFarball.com and Ultimate Guard. Your favorite streamer, Mango09. Did you wash your hands? Yes. My hands smell like... Uh, well, I don't know what they smell like. Just, just They don't smell bad, actually. Allora, opponente goes first. That's a bad news. Breakfast with mango indeed. Alright, breeding pool, you love to see that. Explore. Hazard seems like a 2-5. What does it mean, Dr. Golded? They don't smell like Kulo. Exactly, Majin Buu. They do not smell like Kulo. That's exactly what they don't smell like. Alright, we have the good old Nambo uh, prowess... Uh, <laughs> Uh, what's it called? Prowess Spectacle. Later we'll be drafting. Uh, yesterday we went 7 2 with. Uh, with. Uh, with green. Like. with like bent ramp or whatever. His three school time mid range. I think mid range can't really exist. This is, it's un un until they ban this card. Mid range decks can't exist. And you'd be like, Pepangu, why can't I play my. I don't know. Whatever deck. That's a shame. That's a shame, isn't it? You know what isn't a shame, chat? You know what isn't a shame? Putting you putting your opponent on uh, one life on turn three. This isn't a shame. Turn three, one life total. Turn three, one life total. Turn three, you're on two. Oh, sorry, on one. What turn is it, Mango? It's turn three. What's your life total? One. Please, Wizards of the Coast, ban Field of the Dead. All right, all right, all right. So we're on the draw. We do the Cyber Plan of earlier. On the Trois, Kato Sankasis. Giganta goes away. Azoretto goes away and a couple of Gitu and four shock. Will they ban Field of the Dead? It depends. If enough uh, streamers say that, probably yeah. Is it Field of the Pioneer? Why isn't the ban historic? Yeah, right? I don't know. Oh wow, four of a kind. No, it's not as unplayable. Alright, this is a good. Uh, we have to cut the card. Probably just gonna do Soulstorm Mage out like the rest of the day. Exactly, the Tauntime Hammer. Force Concert got is so bold. Eh, I mean, South Scorch Desert has always been. Uh... Nobody has ever questioned. Nobody has ever questioned Sun Scorch Desert. Before in red uh, aggro with Roman of Runes. I don't know why people started to do so now. Oh god, Spiral. Oh, land. Oh, very nice. Land Ferocidonte. Opponent uh, maybe has Anger of the Gods. Uh, whatever. I'll play Anger of the Gods. They play p p p p oak. Oh, look at yes, you are. Oh, I can't get any life. Cool. <laughs> you know what they have to bring back? Mana. Mana bond. No, let me get my mana. I have a couple of lines here. One is to cast attack, and then cast light up the stage. So that I hit land drops, I think that's the best. I'm missing on two points of damage right now, but it's very important mana drain. No, I was thinking about like mana, the one that like you pay whenever you top a land you take two damage or stuff like that. Yeah, you just need to hit land drops, I think. You need to hit land drops with this deck. Mana barms, exactly, yeah, mana barms. Alright, so let's kill the booze. I need to pay three because my creatures aren't wizards. I boarded out a couple. 
It's very important to get your two for ones here. I'm already ahead, so might as well just get more value because your opponent isn't punishing you. Terror of the Peaks? Ma che cazzo? Ma che? Ma come Terror of the Peaks? <laughs> no, this is a dragon chat! Did you know that Glorybringer can't exert on a dragon? No! <laughs> oh, it's a dragon! I oh, bet uh, it's fine. Uh, this That was funny though. Alright. Um, I mean, this doesn't matter. I still play Glory B and attack. I remember I remember because back in the day in standard you couldn't go glory bringer into glory bringer that was just isn't that wasn't a thing back then but now there's just more there's more dragons now so all right nine and one the yeah you don't need your own kind the, the, the matchup against field of the dead right now it's I think four now we are opponent doesn't know I mean even if they did know what were they doing? Even if they did know, what did they do? They trade that, okay, sure, they take five down to four. And then they have a Ferocidon, and they have also, also my hand was Frenzy Burn spell. So they were on literally one life. Yeah, I mean, I can see it. All right, all right. Die, va bene. I mean, usually I hate this kind of hands, but I, 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 I don't know. The deck is giving me very many good cards in, in a row, so I'll be, I'll be okay with that. Oh, Field of the Dead? Madonna mia. I mean, please, please, that give me a mountain. Two mountain, actually. Oh, nice, God, so nice. Oh, I love it so much when you just keep a greedy one lander and hit there with the light of the stage. Nice, nice mana base. All right, a. Eh. I just miss a land drop here, right? No, let's not miss land drops. The problem is that if I go like shock, light up the stage, I deal a lot of damage, but I lose the Arshikar camera. I hate losing cards. I play Magic the Gathering to draw all the cards to to just just you know just card advantage is where I want to be. I might have mistaken here. Might have made a mistake here, but it's fine. I don't know, it'll be okay. Yeah, what's oh. Bono Rouge! Imagine playing Arch of Oratska. Ah, ah, Arch of Oratska. Arch of Oratska. They should have they should have renamed it Arch of Pepega. I think that's what they should be renamed. Arch of Pepega. Arch of Oratska. Ah, Exactly, Adam MTG. The thing is that people will be like, oh, Field of the Dead is overpowered because I can't play my bad decks because it's good as a bad matchup against it. That's what people will say. And Wizard will be like, I hear you. I hear that your bad deck needs to be good against that Field of the Dead, so we're gonna ban it. Against which deck are into sideboard in Ferocidon? Oh, very often. Basically, whenever I keep in Azurette, I don't bring in Ferocidon. Yeah, it invalidates this old control archetype. Rest in peace. Uh, yeah, the Teferi Avatar. Yeah, I don't really pay attention to it much. You see, this end is dirt. This end is not very good. Like we boarded in. Uh, so first thing first, I'm still not sold on the cyber plan, right? Despite we're winning a lot, that doesn't mean that, that what I'm doing is right. And a hand like this is just awkward. Very awkward. A hand like this. Is Agro versus Field a really good match? I mean, sure it is. Yes, because. Yes, you can spin every time your card because, yeah, I don't know, you don't. Hello, Lamoe. Thank you. Yeah, I stream every day and then my streaming go on the YouTube channel. By the way, chat, maybe some of you don't know it, but if you like mango content, you can click on this link. It'll open on here and you can follow my, my YouTube channel for free. And uh, there's an editor who uh, curates the channel, taking the video from the... The stream, so I hope you can enjoy those. What if you don't like mango content? Hmm, it's a good question. If you don't like mango content, you can go watch other streamer. That's that's the best way to support Magic the Gathering. 
Good morning, health loss. I'm having a wonderful day. I would love to eat my land drop there, but that's fine. I can't I can't I can't lose one game, it's fine. Should I play Pyro? Why Predeterminator? Oh yeah, you're right. I should have played Pyro. Cat, so that's a mistake. Thank you very much. Ay ay ay, Mango Zoranova loses! Yeah, I t when I saw this end, I, I, I don't know, I felt like things were not looking great. Ah! Va bene, basta, basta. Va bene, bella, bella, bella lì. Okay, okay, so next time, chat, we have both of these, we play this first, alright? Okay, now that we're on the play, let's try, let's try and reverse the, 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 the deck, okay? Let's do on the play. Let's try to reverse the deck. Let's try to be. Um, I keep. Porca puttana. I keep in the Ferocidon, but I also want to have Azoretto. Maybe like. Maybe like three. So on the play, I board out three shocks. One Azoret. And I board in four Ferocidon. Exactly, you can't go to this card. Too many glory bees for sideboard. It could be, although like it's a flyer. I don't know. Well we'll see. Again, I, I, I'm not sold on it. Oh caputana, this end is bad. I can't mulligan, but this end is not good. Not good at all. Just having a... <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to bring Giganta back. Oh, that's a punt. I thought it was automatic. It wasn't automatic. All right, let's do this. Uh, let's do this play just because I need to unload my end. So I need to just do that. Oh yeah, I saw the uh, I can't mulligan LSB meme. I'm just so surprised how much how much he mulligans. All right, let's play for Rossidonto. I wish I had a gigant in my companion zone. At least now my opponent plays their own Glory Bringer, which I don't have. Oh, nice Uro, bro! Lose four. Imagine causing. Sorry, imagine playing Uro right instead of gaining three life, you lose one. Although, although you make a land drop and another land drop. All right. So if I had a fifth land, if I had a fifth land, I would have played a Hazaret because next turn I can go like, I'll load my hand and attack. But bad, let's just play Ferozidonta. If they have a sweeper, it'll be bad. But I can't really have a sweeper, right? Because they would have played on four mana, unless they have a five mana sweeper. Fuck, come out that they have a sweeper. <laughs> Porca merda, chat! Ay ay ay, butta male. It's going pretty well, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad. Alright, I think I'll play Azure. If I draw land, I can attack with it next turn. Porca boya, chat, we lose. We lose the game. Why the mango said. White Mango Peppo said, if I don't play the second Ferocity on there, just play this, then I had a Ferocity to play this turn, things would have been much better. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right. Let's deal damage here. Shall we? Barras, 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 barra, cazzo. All right, you go to three. I'll put a Sue Camber back Uro. Three mana, hard promise. Hard promise, okay. You know what I wanna draw, chat? I wanna draw a Sunscorch Desert. Oh wow, they gained one life. <laughs> All right, I just wanna draw Burn Spell now then. Uh, two mana Burn Spell, do I have it? Uh, no, skill recordings. Why don't I play standard 2021? Cause the Mythic Invitational is historic. Rakim and Phoenix. Ooh. Yeah, could be. 
E invece sta merda. How many cars have I put in the graveyard? Oh, oh no, Aura's coming back! I wish I had a land. Aura's coming back. Okay, I can still top the Cascura Critics here, right? Porca boia! Porca boia! Babin, let's pass. Hello, I'm Tijiolic. Ah, yeah, uh, Rekindling Phoenix uh, should be interesting for sure. Nice aura, bro. The, th the thing is that it's not that great since I lose that game to that aura at the end. So it's not, not even that nice aura, bro. Unless I win. If I win, that clip is nice. But if I lose, that clip is not great. Because I end up losing to that aura. <laughs> Attack with bloat? Attack with bloat? Yeah, sure, sure. The thing is that I can't attack with Azeret unless I discard a card. I want to just be a mysterious player here. And leave up mana. If I kept one for us, you know, right? Yeah, I know. I know, I know. I know. Ta 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 yeah, we have to top that pretty well. Is it just only skewer the critics? Merda, it's just only skewer the critics. Only skewer the critics. Is Kith is dead? Kith is very bad with. I mean, not very very bad, but it's missing Teferi a lot. I think. No, they have two Uro! No! Nice Uro blow il cazzo because I lost to it. Alright, it had to happen. I mean, it had to happen. We're like still 4 and 1 against this matchup. Still 4 and 1 in this matchup, so. Yeah, still, still doing fine. Alright, I just can't win at this point. Just can't win at this point. Alright, good game. Good game indeed, good game indeed. If I had all back at Feroz, it would have been in great shape. But I didn't, and I lost. Nekusar Mind Razor. Nekusa. Nekusar. Nekusar. Alright, great end on the play. GG, we have played. Mind Razor. Good morning, good night, sidetrack. How's it going? Alright, via Shino's Bam's Bam. Sparas, 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 sparas. Seventh month in a row! Thank you, thank you, sidetrack. How's it going? We are in the bracket of Field of the Dead. Which isn't the most fun bracket to be in, but that's what we are calling for. All right, so let's figure out. Okay, I think I think I think I'll do this. So I'll go lizards, uh, wizards, lightning, face. This is turn three, huh? We have to deal as much damage as possible. My favorite moderator, side track, subbing. Woo! All right. Unfortunately, it didn't go well, but that's fine. Still uh, dealing uh, some damage. Could have been worse. It's a firm bracket. I don't know. When are you drafting? And usually it's like two hours of constructed, two hours of draft. Well, we'll see. What do you think White's to play in Historic? Yeah, I think it's just... Porca merda. I think it has to be a... Aggro deck? I think I like aggro decks right now. Mono Black and Mono Red perform quite well for my, for my testing. Red? Yeah, we're 4 and 1 against Red. Maybe not winning this game. Although, if I draw land, I attack with Azeroth, so it should be good. Uh, do I play this pre combat? Oh, yeah, for sure. 
this is three damage per combat. Bubby. So we have lands. Uh, actually, all right. Well, we'll see what happens here. Blazing volley. That's yeah, like maybe a good idea. I don't know though. There's not that many creatures, right? Oh, Crocodile's main deck? What? That's so mean, opponent. Why would you do that? Why would you do that, opponent? Now they can go Ura next turn. And probably Field of the Dead. Come on, main deck Crocodiles? Oh, who even does that these days? Who even does that these days? Yes, yeah, Adrak, White Pebble said indeed. Alright, so my put is on four. Four is not much, but I'll go on seven here and I have a good blocker for my Azoreto. Wow, I win. Good game. Good game. G G G G G G G G G G G. Woo. Good game. Yeah, they are mega fans for sure. Main deck. Main. I only saw my decks be having main deck rocks. All right, all right. Let's try the new plan. New plan. New plan. New plan. Once the birds. Like the ma ah, come out! I think I need I need another land in the sideboard. I just go up so much in lands here. I go up so much in lands here. Dai, have a cozy. Like scavenger grounds? <laughs> sure, sure, yeah, scavenger grounds, yeah. You're interested is rekindled? Wow, that's that's a nice use. Do you ever use? I mean, American speakers. People, do you ever use Rekindle in your day-to-day -day life? Actually, it's a different question. Have you ever used Rekindle ever in your in your in your in your life in general? Yes. What's an example for a Rekindle? You can say you rekindled an old romance. Oh nice, very nice. We recently rekindled our friendship. Okay. Thank you very much. Once again, I like to understand more what some uh, uh, magic words mean. For example, yesterday we played with uh, the camel. What was the name again? The alder or something. Like break alder? I don't remember. It was definitely alling something. And I didn't know both of the words and it was weird. That I just don't know both words. Query alder. Yeah, query, query alder. All right, all right. Uh, what are we doing here? Man, I nothing. Just casting my boy Vieshino Pyromancer. Don't let me uh, Every time I target my opponent, it asks me to mute him. No, I don't want to mute my opponent. This is a nice guy. Hopefully. You you hear Rekindle in rap songs? Oh, really? Okay, cool. Rap songs, though, they just need to rhyme everything, so. By the way, I'm so glad I drew so many so many lands in a row. Here I'm even playing this Ferocity, and if they have a minus four, minus four, or whatever. I mean, obviously, it's, I'm sad, but also if they have a, an Hour of Promise. Oh, nice. So a one creature survives here. And I feel that they did. Okay. I think I'll play another Ferocity again. You have to tap the Ramana Prunes, I remember. So now if they have, like, um, Hour of Promise, um, I still uh, get to deal them damage, which is important. Our hand is pretty chunky here. Our promise. Love it. So they take two damage here. And they can't play life gain lands. So they're probably going to get like a outfield of the dead and another land. So they take four damage down to nine. Burn them down to six. Boom, 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 baby. Boom, boom, boom. Chunky, chunky, chunky. Imagine if this was freaking experimental frenzy. <laughs> okay. Temple mystery, sure. Va bene, quattro daño. Basically, this ferocity was Eric Killing Phoenix, let's say. Could it even be better because we. 
You got very, very many things alive for that suggestion. All right, lightning bolt, end of turn. My turn, Capiscato, sta merda. All right, Rekindling's Peaks and Pass. No attacks. If one plays a land, takes two damage. And then they die to my Rekindling Phoenix. They can't get any life. And the Geolic, you see how, why our is so good? Do you see it? Don't. I don't see it. All right, good five. Land. Hmm. Let's play Gitu Lava Runner. One damage. And let's play Skewer. Now, opponent is on two, which means that my Ramanap Ruins will kill them. If I attack with all, I can double block that, single, single block, and block that so they don't die. Good game. Alright, 10 and 2. 10 and 2. 10 and 2. Okay. Today we have a class. Uh, how do you say that? Classroom meeting? Like from 8 years ago? Chris Conte will be there. You know, Chad, then me and Chris Conte. I'll tell you a story about me and Chris Conte, one of the, you know, longest supporters and subscriber of the channel. Really, all right. And uh, we loved math. Maybe me and him were the two one loved math the most. And we were just spending our days, like we we did all the we did all the uh, graphics. Actually, I don't know how is it. All right, never mind. Story time is gone. So there was like that thing where all right. First thing first, let me say thank you to Carol Bansick. Thank you very much, Carol Bansick, for your subscriptions. So we love to do a lot of graphics. Uh, graphics is like the thing like that where you have to like do the I don't know how to explain it in English. Geometry, maybe? Yeah, could be that. And we have to do that. So we did an older one in the in the book, so we were just doing more. Drawing graphs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, Mango, why do you play Azoretto? Don't play Azoretto, Mango. It's a bad magical card. Play with, uh... Oh. Yeah. It's math. Vectors? Yeah, I think it's vectors. Yeah, I think it's called vectors. And we're playing with that a lot, and, uh... And we're, that was just our entertainment. Our entertainment was, was vectors. <laughs> And uh, we were just doing that all day, basically. All right, never. All right, now, stop talking about backdoors, Mango Zeranobe. What do we want to talk about then? Function analysis. Dai, quella, quella, Conte. Exactly. Function analysis. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. That's the name. Funzioni. Le funzioni. Oh, okay. I don't know why I forgot about it. I was calling it graphs. But... All right. Let's now stop a little bit and think about how to win this game. It's, it must be super easy to win this game. So. Both some cats, so that you can't lose this game, right? What do I do? Just attack with all? I mean, first thing first, I have to play a card or discard a card. Eh. Uh, let's activate Azareto. Discard Star Scorch Desert. Attack with Todo el Mundo. So yeah, we're doing we were doing a lot. We were doing a lot of those. It was fun. All right. So they blocked in uh, that way. Sure. I, I wanted I wanted to see and wait if they block in a way where they, they would have left that on board. That's why I waited on my shock, because they might have blocked in a way where. Yeah, they didn't die. It wasn't lethal by shock and face, but maybe miss lethal. Did I? I don't think I missed lethal. Did I miss Lethal? Or right, anyway. Um, I'm playing as Goblins. No, I didn't go to... No, I went to three. I don't know why it went minus one, but... Uh, no. All right, anyway. Grim Lava Monster. The one for us to do against Goblins. It's an interesting question. That is an interesting question. I think I won't bring in my Flyers in this matchup. Hmm? 
What do you guys think? I think I won't bring my flyer in this match. You could have shot the middle almost sacrificed a land. No, Nova Booba. This one requires a lot of mana. A lot of mana. Dive a bit, let's set sideboard out to Viashino Paramancer and submit this. I think Hazoret Hazoret was insane in this game. Hazoret was so good in this game. How can you cut it? Especially after a game like this. Sure. Uh usually play Soulscar first. No frenzy? Yeah, no frenzy. I think that card is quite outdated. Maybe I shouldn't have played our Shaker Canner. Why did I play a Shaker Canner? I never should have revealed. Alright, that's a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. The Plumba! Thank you very much, the Plumber, for the sub. Eight months. Next month is Raviolovich. Ooh. That's a hot, that's a hot flip there. Ferocious Hunt is better against Cranko Draws, that is true. Definitely. It's definitely very good against those. I don't know, it's just that Ferocious Hunt costs 3 mana. Yeah, Monastery Sphere Spirit not present. They're probably gonna kill my Soul Scrum Mage here. Yeah, well played. Well played. Azoretto, very, very good draw, very good draw, bravo, Mangu. Alright, so how many spells have in my graveyard? Oh. So I'll play Gitu Lava Runner. Play Shock on the Snoops. This is haste. So I attack for two. Madonna, che figata. Play Skewer the Critics on the Chain Whirler. Land, Soulscar Mage. And next turn we go land, Azoret attack all. Spram! And that's the mono red, guys. You think? What is Yona? Goblin War Chief. Or Sheikar Kenra? Whatever. Almost as bar as barra. Actually, what if we bar as barra with everything? What if we bar as barra with everything? I force them to block this. No, no, Stamboni. If you want to chant block, it's fine. Oh, actually, they can go land Muxus here. Hmm. Muxus. Attenzione! Attenzione, Mux is in the house! Brabam! A attenzione! Thank god I have a blocker or I would have died on board. <laughs> no, I don't have a blocker anymore! No, I died on board! Alright, good game, good game, good game. This is a nice game. Nice little game we played this game. Did I say game a lot? I probably did. It's still, very good game. Alright. I definitely want to bring back the Viashino Pyre. Actually, that's not true at all. Uh, ta -ta -ta. No, yeah, I totally dumped. I totally keep this on the play. On the draw, maybe I need a Rekindling Phoenix? Nah. Let's just go with this. Viashino, I will just play it tight. Flare Plan. I don't think so. I don't think I want to Flare Plan. What has just happened? They played a card called Muxus Goblin Grande. One of the biggest goblin in the world. One of the grandest goblin, actually. Land is Kirk. Ooh, Gitu Lover Runner right on time. Thank you very much for showing up to the party. And uh, Zbarra, 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 Zbarra. I don't know, Light of the Stage is still cost one. The thing with the Ferocity on it is that uh, it costs three. But, alright. Jumping Incinerator means that they don't have um, Chill Water, right? Light up. I'm not gonna go light up though. Or maybe I am. No, I'm not going to. I'll just play Kenra. Gitu Lava Runner. You go to 15. Auto pay. Does it? Is it my god? I haven't played against Muxus forever. Actually, I have a, this is my be the first time I play Muxus the whole week.
Allora, what are we doing here? We have so many choices. Choice is... The choice that I play right now is... Uh... All right, I think I'll do the following. Because I need my Gitu Lover Runner to be... Um... To have lots of uh, power. By lots, I mean one more. So I'll go uh, Shock Face, Light Up the Stage, Exile Two Cards. I have so many piles, that's insane. All right, um, now it's whether I want to kill that Skirk Prospector or ignore it. I think I'll attack first and then I'll kill the, sp the Prospector. And if they just trade with everything, it'll be fine. So I might miss some damage, but I don't want my opponent to be able to play Muxus next turn. All right. Yeah, maybe this was wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have done what I did. Maybe I should have just played this in attack. Oh, but still skewing the... Skew the Prospector, right? Yeah, I think so. We can't play control? I don't know if I can't play control. If they just go like ring leader now, they can't really play control. Oh, cool. Ah, yeah. Vabbè, it's fine. I have another one. Can I draw Azeroth, please? No. No, you can't, Mega Zero Nova. Alright, got our Clossipede back. Fifth land, attenzione! Fifth land for my opponent. Fifth land is not a good sign, chat. It isn't a good sign. It is not a good sign. I'll play Lava Mance over Shaker Can right here. Okay. Okay, cats, okay. Porca merda. Va bene, va bene, va bene, va bene, va bene. Right around 12. Alright. Let me kill that chieftain. Right now, I can burn him with Ramen Up Ruins, just playing another Lava Mancer. I think this is better. Alright, don't go Muxus, te prego, te prego, te prego. Don't go Muxus. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, it's a good draw. Uh, this is a sorcery, huh? Attack first with my Gigantona. Va bene. Yeah, exclamation mark deck, you find my mono black list. Actually, I wrote an article for ChinaFireball.com premium about that deck. If you want to know more about my sideboarding, get a tin. Now oh, this means I can't flashback or shake or can around, huh? but still, I think it's better like this. Maybe it wasn't better like this. Maybe it wasn't better like this. Echo Lee. Arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Although, yeah, that with in a hand with two Azurette, you really need to unload your hand. Wow, Speaker of the Havens. This card is very good in the Mono White Auras deck. Oh, it's been a while I haven't played against this deck. No, game two they played Shin Wheeler. Game three they didn't play Shin Wheeler. Game two they, they did play Shin Wheeler and killed my, my 2 1 with it. I should have made a mistake in game two. Oh no, was that game one? I think I made a. I, made, I definitely made one mistake because they had a Shin Wheeler on top and played a 2 1. I mean, you can kill Shin Wheeler. All right, very, very happy to have drawn a land there. Okay, so now if next turn I draw, um, if next turn I draw a uh, land, I can't play Azeroth in attack with it because I can't play every every other card. And this is why you want to play twenty four lands because you know that with Azeroth you need to hit your fourth, your first four land drops, and uh, in order to hit your first four land drops you have to play twenty four lands. Do they have light uh, raise the alarm in that deck? Yeah, but, but it's okay that their goblins deck plays a good card, right? Sure, they play Muxus. I mean, it's, it, it, they, they have to play Muxus there. Galbatorial, what's up with this? No, why? You can you can play with me. That's okay. You can also close the stream if you want to, or you can snipe. I'm okay with that here. All right, you mulligan this hand, yes. Oh, all right, this is a keep. Although we're looking for Azoretto. I think I think it is Goblin Grande. Yeah, I did. I do. I do. Jello Lutz, are you also in the in the chat? If you want to concede, I'll take it. All right, keep. that's good. Oh, you also put bottom land in this hand. Oh, it's Grandi? Classic, classic Americans just stealing world words and just changing them with their pronunciation. Oh, Knight of the Ebon Legion. That's cool. And, and then we go land and Soul Storm Mage. And we do one damage. I'll play playing Mono Black, which is a deck close to my heart. And I probably have a removal spell here. I think I will let Wizards line in them. Sure. Yeah. Because this way I deal two more damage. Because the Gito Lover Runner also gets a token. Uh, the, 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 boost, the boost. So they're on 14. And I all ran out of cards. So I don't feel like I'm winning this game actually. No Obliterator. All right, so they got a six here, and now I have nothing left. So I'll just hold my hands and see what happens. Four cards. If that's part of my hands, fine. If they have a rankle, it's fine. The worst case possible is probably not a two, three life linger. Yeah, Gito Lover Runner. I had um, the shock there in the grave. Oh, Katzel, they must have listened to me. Well done, well done, Oponente, with your 2-3 lifelink. Alright, I'll pass the turn. Rimrock Knight. Uh, I've, ne I've never even liked it in Standard. You landed in Europe? From where? Slav Shots? No, Kalitas isn't historic, or I would have played it with Soren, the Planeswalker. Waiting. I'm waiting for that Oath of Gatewatch remastered. <laughs> Eldrazi remastered. Eh, I mean, what do I do here? Double block. Dive a bit if they ever move a spell. Good on you. No, I have No, Katzo, Katzo. Although, this hand didn't really feel like I could win against their draws, I feel like. We shouldn't have burned them so much. 
Alright, so if I just land my, my Gigantuna, I'll do another game live this castle will get, look better. I don't see on it. I don't see what a Wellspring is in the house. And I just draw a Zoretto and do pew pew. I believe that if you are, I think they do let from the US if you are uh, taking the quarantine. Like if you're taking the quarantine. Hazoet! This is a lot of damage, this, this Sunscorch Desert here. So it becomes a 5-5, five, five, huh? Yeah, exactly. You have to take a test before you fly, and then you have to take like a 14 days quarantine. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, Glad that I know that Grandiza Portuguese noble title. I've, I've heard that at least. I didn't know before. Do they have to jump attack with the murderer's radar? They might actually. Giganta is, yeah, I mean, Giganta, it's a free roll. Like, it's in play and it's holding this murderer's raider. If it wasn't for Giganta, I would have been in a way in a way worse spot this game. So I'm very, very glad I played Giganta over, you know, any cyber slot. They gained two li four life here. They definitely swung the race this way. But what can I do? Should we know what I can do? No, I can't, so because I go down to... Uh, 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 main deck for us would be okay. The problem we make for us main deck for us is that we have to change the deck though. I can't play Azerite anymore. Mono Black is wrecking. Mono Black is doing well here. Oh, la Madonna. Opponent is on eight, potentially six. I draw. Sta merda. All right, good game. Good game, right? This is very All right, good game. Okay, yes, part of my Amazon is is, is great. All right, let's go to sideboard. Let's see how this does against mono black. Allora, I want my my go big plan here, even on the play. I think. Not that I'm not with you. One for us again? Probably not. Uh, what do I cut? What do I cut? Skewer. Although they do have uh, the two three lifelink. Strandboard all light of the stage, and uh, like some creatures. I don't think I want to bring in light of um, rampaging for us. Didn't do because this is uh, too many expensive cards at that point. So let me see what I did. So I did minus two G two. Minus four light up. Minus four hazard. Actually, yes. Yeah, bring in a couple. Of, uh, let's just board out all the light, all the all the lava runner. The, the thing is that it's maybe hard to get in damage. Kiln fiend. No, I don't. I don't love that. All right. So let's go. Look, glory be, rekindling fee. A two chandra. Uh, that's eight and two lava mancer, sure. Yeah, yeah, you can deal with uh, exactly, you can deal with the four four with souls here. With souls garbage, sorry. Kenra, I, I never bored out there, shaker Kenra. It's just a very, very good card. I wish this was a Gitu Lover Runner. Good morning, Kyle. I consider maybe like one soul star, maybe one scavenger grounds. I'll open the window. Hopefully, not too much noise outside. Oof! All right, all. Gole Lutz. Red Wanderer. Lord Bringer. Don't want to go light up the stage. I don't think so. If you go out of the stage here and flip one of the many four drop, I can't cast it. And I do want to cast my four drops. Because you can go South Coach Desert Light of the Stage, but I don't think it was ideal there.
E che cazzo? Alright, I'll just I'll just do that now though. If I flip a four drop, I'll play it. Alright. Uh pass the turn. If I draw a wizard, I can suddenly turn my hand into like three lightning bolt. Oh, I'll play a shock here. Okay. Into my wizard's lightning? Okay, sure. Opponent's mana screwed. You love you you love to see that. <laughs> you love to see mana screwed here. Because this means that I can take well, I just have so much time to deploy my light up the stage. Glory bringer! Glory bringer! Pum! Alright. It's basically a flame tongue cavu overpowered. A overpowered flame tongue cavu. And make sure to tap that Ramana Bruins, alright? If you don't tap that Ramana Bruins, they, uh, the after tapper won't tap you. Niku, 1991. You can go exclamation mark deck and check my deck list. Oh, eliminate. Mm. Avacyn. I do, I do remember Avacyn. Actually. Oh, yeah, they weren't the same, yeah. They weren't the same standard. It, it was unbeatable. Glorybringer. In in draft, yesterday we cube drafted, and uh, you know, a friend of mine just drafted Mono Red, and he won like every game with Glorybringer. It's just so powerful. Not as powerful as Viashino Pyromancer, huh? don't get me wrong. This is the most powerful card. Guardate! Two mana? One one? It's like double. This card, all of a sudden, it's double Goblin Electromancer. All our hands, it's like if there's a. Uh, I don't know, Ugin the Ineffable in our hand is all colorless cards. All our cards in it cost two colorless less because I drew this Viashino Pyromancer. 8, 4, 6, bye, via. Pew, pew! Pew! Pew, 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 pew. Alright, obviously my opponent got minus screwed, so this is just the classic, you're happy to win when your opponent's minus screwed. You just feel like a great magic player, but the truth is that your opponent was minus screwed. And honestly, chat, this is why minus screw is great in magic, because not only you get minus screwed, also your opponent gets minus screw, and that makes you feel very smart and very strong, right? Like, how often you just, you know, want to bet matchup and be like, oh, my deck's great, but the truth is that your opponent just got unlucky. So yeah, that's why, that's why we all love the game Magic the Gathering, don't we? They play less lands? I don't know, I was playing 24 lands when I played Mono Black. 5 mana Chandra over Glorybringer? <laughs> why would I do that? No. <laughs> Glorybringer's great. I haven't tried it though. 5 mana Chandra, it looks, looks, looks good, don't get me wrong, it's just that it doesn't impact the board immediately, just draws cards, right? This is not great, but it's fine. Oh, wow, that's a great use of English. I love it. In uh, Inescu Inescution said, "Just two fools uh, trading delusions of grandeur." Best description of magic I've ever heard. Exactly, exactly. We felt like the best player in the world, and my opponent felt like the unluckiest player in the world. Exactly, that's how it felt. I touch my thing. Oh no! Stop eliminating my little mage. As bar 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 as bar. Esperone, I played blue black control. I think you would need to play only blue black if you want to. No, voila! No, look at that! No, chat. Alright, I need to draw a wizard. If I draw a wizard, I can kill the Knight of the Abelijin. 
Let me draw a wizard. Bye bye, bye bye, bye That wizard, 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 wizard. Actually, they might never tapped out anymore. Wow, if they never tap out anymore, they're just the biggest brain I've ever seen. Could be. Chat, I'll draw, I'll tell you this, I'll draw Rekeeling Phoenix, are you ready? Thank you, Aski2 for the six month. You get an espresso badge. That's a wizard, by the way. Like a point, don't be too, don't be too big a brain of a player. Just tap power for whatever you want to play. Just tap power for whatever. As long as it isn't a <laughs> production of Blade Raider, I guess. Top out, die. Just pump this, come on, that's lethal. Vabbè, ma che stanno a di... How can I win against such a big brained opponent? How? My back, I got it. All right, good game. Ed's clap. Ed's clap. No, we're losing so much ranks. No, my rank, my rank. Where are you going? Where are you going? All right, all right, ciao. Last match.